last time on Total Party Guild. Well, I'm not going to do that in person. That would be rude. Yeah, don't call people tools. Hey, he's learning. Right, that's why I said I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. You're, yeah, they grow up so fast. Me and Sunil just making eyes across this little weird canal. Oh, our little baby. <laughs> learning how to deal with people. So proud. <laughs> Well, my eyes are watering, but mostly from the stench, <laughs> but also partly from pride. Welcome, heroes. My name's Jeremy Blackheart, and I'll be doing this story arc of Total Party Guild, a weekly retro wave inspired live play 5th edition D&D podcast. This week, the guild will be hiring Vanessa Otero playing Jewel Von Onyx Human Bard, Sean Rowe playing Singer, your friendly neighborhood tiefling cleric, and Justin Lamb playing Stenel Bjornsson, the halfling barbarian, and our guest. Matthew Crum playing Dimble Pilwicken, the gnome artificer. Dimble. When last we left our heroes, they had just turned the corner in the old Lumitech lab and saw a hapless researcher being forced to work under two Kua Toa. They steeled themselves for battle and were rolling for initiative. Mm. Right, 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 right. So, Singer, what was it you got? 18. 11 for Jewel. 10 for Dimble. And seven. Stenel's really not on the ball today. <laughs> you did get a little freaked out. A lot of freaked out. Singer, yep. I. Yeah. All right. Um, I will shatter uh, here so that way it hits both the those bad guys and does not hit the cleric. I'm glad you made that clarification because I thought he was bad too. So I was going to drop it like, <laughs> to hit all of them, but then you're like, he's being forced to work for him. So, yeah. So I drop a shatter um, right right there, so that way it'll hit both of those guys and miss everything else. Is it, How big is shatter? Oh, it's only 10 feet. So It's a 10 feet yeah, radius. Was, yeah, 10 feet radius. So that's 20 feet. Right. All righty. So they had to make a constitution set? Uh, correct. What's the DC? A 14. And roll damage? Uh, 12. It rattles them both, but it doesn't seem to phase them too much. Well, balls. Cool. So that's what I did. <laughs> Are you going to stay there? Yep. Uh, no. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get out in front real fast. Because I do have a shield and a spear. So I'm going to just kind of like move up. And an AC. <laughs> yeah, and an AC. <laughs> <laughs> Charge away forward and put your shield in front. Immediately, this grunt charges forward with his spear and tries to disembowel you. Yuck. What is your armor class? Uh, AC 16, uh, 18 with the shield. That's pretty good. Take two piercing damage. <laughs> as lightning crackles across my skin and a wrathful rebuke blasts out to hit him oh jeez gotta okay. make a deck save deck save good laugh okay he fails what happens uh he takes seven lightning damage describe it so uh as he as he goes to to swing his blade or spear or whatever he's got at me um and i bring my shield up and it kind of like sparks off and it kind of like uh hits me and my l eyes glow a bright blue and lightning crackles down my skin and it travels up his blade and you can see him just like <laughs> <laughs> and his eyes kind of shake his dead fishy eyes <laughs> and it kind of smells like like cooking fish <laughs> <laughs> like halibut the other Kuotoa runs up right behind his cohort and throws a net at Singer. Hooray. The target is restrained. A creature can use its action to make a DC 10 strength check to free itself or a deal five slashing damage to the net. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's going to be hard to do with the spear. <laughs> <laughs> Just poking through the holes of the yeah. net. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> and you hear them both call out as loud as they can. Oh. Jewel. That's me. Okay. 
going to move forward a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to run forward and stab this guy with my sword rapier. Four or five? Number five. Okay. Oh, does a nine hit? It does not. So I totally whiff it, and I will give an inspiration to Singer. Roll me a strength saving throw. 18. 18. You feel your rapier graze its scales and kind of like jam for a second, and you follow forward with the thrust to loosen it. Okay. Who has the inspiration? Singer. Uh, Dimble, you're up. All right. Oh, I will run up to where I can actually see something. Oh, geez. Um, <laughs> I will uh, let out a firebolt at grunt number five. For the listeners, I have dynamic lighting on, so they cannot see what's on the map until they're around the corner. Yeah. 23. You definitely hit. Uh, for nine fiery damages. How do you kill it? I think it just blasts a little sparkle right in its face and it like inhales some of the vapors and it just starts to burn and it falls over. <laughs> Gross. Nice. It's dental. It looks like Singer is struggling with this net uh, and it looks like he's fine. He's going to be fine. So <laughs> I'm going to ignore that. Uh, actually, hang on. Let me see how far that is. That's that's only 20 feet. So I could dart around on this side. I'd be able to make it here, wouldn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? 35 feet of movement. Yeah, we're doing diagonals five for movement. Ah, uh, nice. It's okay. fine. <clears throat> so I kind of, I skate around it. I'm nimble. I'm small. Uh, but I get to the other side of Singer and I'm going to haul off on this thing. I got a crit. Oh, heck. Ray. I'm going to roll that for a total of 11 damage. For the first hit. Cat. Is it still standing? No, I was just seeing if you wanted to roll your second one anyway. Well, it was more of a, you know, cut it and see. Oh, okay. Yeah. How do you kill it? Well, it's, you know, I, I'm assuming it's got like spines all up its back and mm -hmm. I just kind of dart around it and I find a, a gap in whatever it's wearing and I just spin the sword a little bit and just slide it straight in a really aggressive stance and it goes like angles in and up, like up into the rib cage. Mm. You fillet the fish. I just like hmm. fish stuff starts falling out. And then I twist and yank it out and just, it's like, like popping a balloon. <laughs> They're both laying on the floor, looking just as they did when they were alive. <laughs> <laughs> no change. But I'm, uh, it's going to be weeks before I smell right. <laughs> Wasn't that the case anyway? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sad badger noises. Oh, thank heavens. Do you have water or food or anything? Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm sure I've got something, right? I'll toss in my water skin. Oh, finally. Are we out of initiative? Yes. Okay. Then I will take the uh, rope off of me. <laughs> or <laughs> the, net. the thing. Yeah. Finally. I was, I was wondering when Lumitech was going to be able to get some people together, but you're... Your adventures. Or the guild. Oh, I suppose they've been shorthanded. The guild? Well, most of us are from West, West Bank. Oh, that, that explains it. Oh, have you found any others? You're the first. Oh, I hope to the heavens they're all right. Uh, yeah, so do we. Um, how you, how you feeling? He looks haggard. Um, he looks like he's starving. His cheeks are starting to bow in. Um, his skin looks droopy and he just looks exhausted and disheveled. You've seen the Kuatoa idea of a meal that doesn't normally look so appetizing to others. Yeah. Did we already hand him some food? Yes, yeah, Stenel gave him some water. You look hungry. Um, Do you want some rations? Yes, please. They've been trying to feed me their vomit. Ugh, I'll pull out oh, a pack of rations. I, I thought that was the stuff that comes out, not the stuff that goes in. Maybe it's both. They're a, they're a scavenger race. They'll eat anything. What have they been having you do in here? If you're down here, Lumitech trusts you enough. This used to be a bioweapon testing facility for Lumitech, but the program was shut down as it was deemed, as he's sipping on water and slowly snacking on food. Uh, 
that the project was deemed too irrehensible and shut down. They um, captured us and they've been making me work to do these unspeakable things to these poor, poor mermaids. So you understand these cool toe of things and are able to like do what they're asking. I speak many languages. Oh, um, did you happen to make that slimy creature that's associated with the, like the, the hell lance and the, the stuff? The what? That there was some sort of weird, like, machine thing that we fought earlier. It was also slimy. It wasn't a machine. It was. It looked like a paladin, but it was only goop. Yeah, yeah, it's that, that's the one. That's what I was thinking. No, it can't be. I assure you, it very much can. It was blue and purple with lightning li- coursing through it, and it looked like a bunch of faces. Yeah, um, it was blue and purple and horror. Yeah. And it was wearing paladin gear. It had a corrupted looking banshee lance and a OR system. Banshee lance. That's that's what it was. Not a hell lance. Close enough. So it is the soul forge that's leaking. The soul forge? Oh, yes. That that sounds ominous. <laughs> it couldn't be worse. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Did he Do say you... the soul forge is leaking? Yeah, that's what he said. Uh, that can't be good. I can't think of a way to combine those words that isn't just awful. <laughs> <laughs> the, you've seen the numerous Warforged in Bantham, haven't you? Of course. Yeah. Yes. Why do you think that is? Because uh, y'all put them together. They like it Because there's a big war? Because there's a functioning soul forge underneath the city. Oh. Well, now there's a malfunctioning soul forge. <laughs> Ooh. Jewel and Dimble, give me a knowledge history. Eight. Dirty twenty. Dimble, you know that have you looked at our, our map before? Uh I think so once. So there's an area called the Azure Void Sands. The Azure Void Sands was made the way it is and completely morphed into this other landscape because of a soul forge malfunction. And that soul forge is where a lot of the original ones came from. Uh, we, this, we gotta fix this. This could only be bad. What was that, Stunnel? This could only be bad. Why us? We're, we're not the fixy type. We're usually more the get in and stabby type. Well, we need to get someone to fix it then, because. Um, aren't we supposed to? Like, I thought we were hired to fix this one, right? Stop the leak? Mm-hmm. Granted, we thought it was a leaky pipe at, 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 at the beginning. Oh, yeah, it is a leaky leak. pipe. This sounds like a leaky nuclear bomb. If I knew what that was, I might be more afraid. So, um, uh, let's go then. Uh, show us the cell forge. It's not here. There's just a cooling system here. There are pipes that go all over the city. So if we fix the cooling system, we stop the problem? Is that what you're saying? There should be a manifold somewhere nearby. If you close uh, it, it'll reroute. men, yes. <laughs> with the wine with men's toes in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Made with genuine feet. So that would be located where? On the south side, there should be a, one large cooling chamber. If you follow that hallway around and back north, there's a large chamber with an opening to the sea. The pipes were routed mm-hmm. there because there's a constant exchange of water, making the heat exchange very, er, coefficient very, very beneficial. Somewhere in that back room, there should be a manifold. And then we can fix that? Is that what we're saying? Hmm. Dimble, what are we supposed to do here? <laughs> What's a manifold? Sounds like we, yeah. <laughs> Folded men. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyway, sorry. I do not want. It, it, it's all very complicated. I, I, I'm on, until I see it, I won't really know, but I'm going to try something. Bantham could just not be here anymore. We don't. When we still have four more people to find, so. um, Are we leading you out, or do you think you could make it on your own, or? Is the way to the exit safe? We, well, we killed everything between here and the exit, so I'm going to say yes. Unless there's any kind of patrol or backup. Perhaps you should just hang out with us for a little bit longer. 
Yeah, until we can get you back to the entrance. I don't know how well I can get around anymore, but I'll try. There were others. Yep, uh, four more. That's that's what we were told. Yeah, Lumatec told us that they sent in four paladin, or sorry, two paladins, two artificers, and a researcher. I'm assuming you're the researcher. That would be me. I did hear okay. another man screaming, and I heard a woman's voice crying. Well, my name's okay. Jewel, and this is Stenel Singer and Dimble, and uh, I guess we will get you out of here. Just out of curiosity, you said you heard another man and so forth. Does that mean you don't actually know who these other people are? Like you didn't come in with them? No. The Kuatoa are a slaver race. Okay. But um, so you're saying your company sent you by yourself? Separate from the mm, five. I think you're confused. He came with the four, and then there were others already here. Okay. Oh. Well, what happened to the four that you were with then? Yeah. That's, that's who I thought we were just talking about them. Two fell in combat. One was still breathing. Two more were in a cell, but that was, I don't know. I've lost track of time. Okay. So two were dead and two were in a cell. One, one fell in combat, but was still breathing. Is that what it sounds like you said? Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so he, he might be dead. So the two, two may be dead, but maybe it's just one who's dead. And the other two are in their cell somewhere, but they also might be dead too. So, yep, we're, we're looking at a one in five. 20%. Maybe. Maybe, maybe numbers. Let's go find out for real because we should keep moving. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Let's go. Let's keep moving. Is there anything in here that needs to be recovered or destroyed? And he immediately looks at the partially dismantled mermaids. Destroyed? What were you doing to them? God, I hope it's not recovered. They were already dead, but the Kuatua demanded I do something with the sacred jelly to bring them back to serve sacred jelly sacred jelly yeah they keep calling it the soul jelly for sacred toast or maybe like when you need a new queen you make one of them eat a bunch of it (laughs) they're underwater bees yeah (laughs) okay seas seas so Oh, <laughs> I get it. They're in these tanks. Do we just, is there like a flush button or do we break it or, or how, are we, how are we taking care of this? Set it on fire? Once I turn off life support, I don't know what will happen. Okay. I thought you said they were already dead. They were. And he was bringing them back. Well, turn off life support and we'll see what happens. So he turns around and hits a few buttons. The light dims, but it still glows like a dying glow stick. The one on the left floats haplessly and sits on the bottom. The one on the right twitches, then starts convulsing. It looks up towards the glass in a super fast motion. Uh, Kind of pull back. It flicks its Ah. whole body and slams its face into the glass. And you can hear aquatic screaming. It has these giant shark-like fangs and it's oozing that kind of purplish goop from different places in its body and its eyes are glowing okay so um go ahead and turn on the blender machine to get rid of those things the what like you know the self-destruct automatic the feature that you safely built in there to make sure that it gets rid of them open it why would you do that? <laughs> it's slamming its face over and over again into the glass side like eventually it'll break its face so I feel like we've done all we can. Do we just, we could just go. Then it could come up behind us. It's probably not going to be happy. It was dead and now it's reanimated to serve the Kuatoa. I think we have to kill it. Is it like undead dead or just Mm. reanimated dead? I wouldn't say it's undead. Okay. Nearly undead. It's only mostly not dead. Is this jelly flammable? What's that? Is the jelly flammable? I ask this person. No. Okay. It does react poorly to the cold, though. Dimble, can you freeze it? I uh, I walk up towards it because uh, Jules said we have to kill it, and Jules pretty smart. Um, all right, old man. Um, go ahead and open it. He turns around and presses a couple buttons. The top pops off, and you can hear a pressure release. And there's a big ladder next to it. Does it try to uh, get out or anything? 
Yeah, does it try it to get It notices out? immediately and swims to the top and tries pulling itself out. And now you can hear it screaming. Ugh. Well, I mean, I'm, I'll am i just position myself at the base of the ladder and just like be ready to stab it as it falls on me. What's your armor class? 16. It falls towards you. Its fingertips are stretched out like claws. And... There are uh-huh. no nails. There are no fingertips. It's just a bone that's been sharpened. Uh-huh. And it falls down on you, sink its claws, its bony claws, and its fangs into you. Yeah, but I got the sword pointed up, so hopefully I catch something. Roll me an attack roll. You got it. Nine. The weight of it catches you by surprise, and you fumble to the floor under it. You take two points of piercing damage from its bony talons. Ow. I run over and stab it. Ah, like, I got this. Don't worry about it, guys. Like, I totally got Ah! Singer, roll it. Uh, I rolled an 18. This is for you, Singer. Seven points of damage. You kill it. Oh, good. <laughs> I spear it, and I, like, lift it off of uh, Stenel, and I'm like, don't worry. I-, I got you, buddy. I got... Oh. No, oh, that's really gross. Oh, it's leaking all over you. I, I punched right through it. Um, uh... Sorry. As I lift my head up, uh, it's just a sheet of like fish innards and horror goo, and then two eyes that blink open, just smoldering anger and defeat simultaneously. Like I was afraid you're gonna drown in in it. I I kicked the fish body off my spear. I know it's horrible, but they were dead when the fishmen brought them to me. So. That's even more horrible that you brought it back. It was like, that or die. And I knew Lumatech yeah. would send somebody. Or at least I hoped. No, 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 I get it. I understand. Hard rock and all that fun stuff. It's just gross. I agree. <laughs> well, let's go see if we can find the rest. Yeah. So are you showing me out? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, well, we're going to show you towards the out. And the way right? out's kind of on the way anyway. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a couple other doors, though, we wanted to take a look at. Mm. we can take a moment to make sure this guy gets out safely mm-hmm, mm-hmm. as we open the doors oh for god's sake no I just then we're backtracking and it's extra time and what if it, that kills the others why don't we go this way and just have him jump over the jellyfish and go Do you out think the he exit can right jump there. over the jellyfish my legs he doesn't look like he's doing working right. as Dim- well Dimble will ha- hand him a potion okay this will help. Walk him out. Oh, I don't want to waste your potion, my researcher friend. I can make another one. Besides, it's it's just exhaustion. I'm not injured. Listen, if there's one thing I know about being uh, starving and dehydrated, is you should eat and drink as quickly as you possibly can. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. S- no, 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 no. One thing. No, <laughs> that's, One thing I know. No, that's not right. Cram it in. Don't do that. And you swallow. <laughs> He's not a medical <laughs> professional. <laughs> so why don't, I mean we can just walk down the corridor. It won't be that far. It's like I mean right. yeah, again it's game like 100 time is like literally it's like, like feet. 45 seconds out of our way. <laughs> and yeah. and as we're going, we can just, you know, flip this door. Okay, but what happens if we flip a door and there's more Kuatoa in there? We kill them? That's a funny question, Jewel. I don't well, because what if then they hurt Clark? Well, Clark's going to stay in the back. He's on his last legs. <laughs> might not. This is like, funny. I can only like see. Age might I can only see what one of the tokens can see at a time. <laughs> so if I leave one of them too far behind, I then can't see the other one. A good incentive to keep them together. Yeah. I open this door. Singer, look, it's just a hallway. Yeah, but the that there was that one door that had like three fish people in it, and they go down like butter. Yeah, but this guy goes down like melted butter. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> We don't know that. We haven't knocked him down yet. I bet this hallway loops back into the room we were just in. Please don't knock him down. Too. I open this door. I'm not going to let him knock you Singer. down. Singer. See, look, there's nothing in there. Jesus. So the door you open. Oh, why didn't I put one there? That's fine. Oh, God. Is that that first southernmost east to west corridor, um, that hallway curves down on a hard south turn. And you hear... Mm-hmm. A little bit louder running water coming from it. 
Okay. And he closes the door. I'm just going to walk. Well, oh, I didn't close the door. I don't uh, know who did that. This way. And I'm going to motion for. Oh, God. They're going so Mr. fast. Clark. To come this <laughs> I have way. little legs. <laughs> so does Stunnel. Okay. Are you guys like taking him out and then we're going to go south or what's the plan? No, we're going to leave you there. Okay. And we're going to walk Clark just... just over to here. Yeah. And just point him the right way. There's nothing else on the way. This is the entrance. I remember that at least. Yeah, there mm-hmm. was nothing up there. We came down with, there was no issues. Is there anything you want to know before I take my leave? Uh, tell us everything. What kind of abominations should we expect in here? What's your favorite color? <laughs> he looks at Stenna like, the fuck? Um, my favorite color is emerald green. I don't know what that has to do with the task at hand. That's just nice to Are know. You a- watch, it, watch it come into to play later on. There'll be like a giant keyboard, and we'll be like, what button to hit? Oh, emerald green. I I didn't see oh, maybe. much of the transformed laboratory, but the cells are straight to the south of here. If anyone's still alive, they'll be there unless they're being forced to work somewhere. And when you say straight to the south, you mean if we keep in the hallway we're currently standing in and we continue south, there's a door down here? Yeah, and he just yeah. points. Yeah, the... Those big doors straight down there. Okay. And that's what we're going to be looking for because we heard they're going to the cells. Watch for the pools. Be careful around them. That's how That's how we lost. We got ambushed. Where did this giant jellyfish come from? The Kuatoa are insane. After thousands of years of testing by otherworldly creatures, they've gained some uncanny abilities. You can see... Everything down here is different than it should be, right? Mm -hmm. The stone has changed. The flora and fauna have changed. All you can see are some pipes still sticking through the kelp in the ceiling. Is it because of the Kuatoa? The Kuatoa are god makers. When they believe something fervently and collectively, it becomes reality. Their sphere of influence is limited, but the more of them and the more fervently they believe, the stronger the influence. Okay, there's no combination of those words that... That sounds good. It's also strange that there are kuoto here in salt water. They usually freshwater fish people. They're normally beneath the mountains, in dirty water pools. Under dark. Well, it probably has to deal with that whole mind flayer situation. Or it's a new adaptation. Mm. Did we save him yet? Can <laughs> are we good now? If that's all you wish to know, I'll take my leave. Good luck and Godspeed. You too. Be thanks. Be careful out there. It's not the best part of town. I'll make do. You can go over two buildings and talk to the uh, church there, and they will take you in and give you food. Just a singer <laughs> sent him. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll take a rest there. Yep, resting there would be good. Good luck, adventurers. Stay safe. May Zalia guide and protect you. Just nod. <laughs> and with that, he takes a sleep. All right, well, let's uh, go south over here, singer. Stunnel, Dimble. Well, this looks down like it also goes south. He literally said said he got ambushed that way, so maybe we take a sideways way. Mm, No, I don't think these doors even look like they they would connect anywhere. No, this door just goes in that direction, but then it loops down. It goes south. That's true. Plus, Singer's been banging on about this door for, like, the last 15 minutes. (sighs) Okay, I mean, he literally said this is the way to what we need, but let's go the way that Singer wants to go. Well, he did say it was also the way to an ambush. Right, so maybe we get him from the back way. Okay, I have a very strong feeling that that doorway just leads into the hallway that we're going to anyway, but whatever. Okay. Well, maybe, but... So who is going in? Singer. Me. You walk down the hallway, and you see a storage area. The boxes are rotting and captured sea life. A few are open and have test tubes and beakers. One is full of uh, mostly rusted pipes. And another is full of tools. You can see the walkway has broken away and there's a small drop before the water. The water's a little murkier and it's not moving as much as where you were. Hmm. Is it deep? You go over to the side to check its depth. Uh huh. Be careful of the pools, the guy said. Oh, shit. Make me an <laughs> athletics or acrobatics check. <sighs> a 15. As you go to the edge to check, a Buffer, more bulky Kuatoa swims to the surface of the water, grabs your ankle, and then drags you under. 
The rest of the party nope. notices. And just lets it happen. <laughs> Jewel, roll me an acro acrobatics or athletics check. 15. You get so startled by Singer getting pulled under that you jump and you just barely miss the grasp of another Kuotoa come up from the side pool and try and drag you under. Oh, for goodness sake. All right. I've, uh, I'm ready to take action, but I don't know if we should be. Uh, we will roll initiative now. That was their surprise. It's a little better. Uh, Stenel got a 15. 16. Nine. Double nine. Singer. Zero. <laughs> you, you rolled a one? I did. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's got to be opening doors, huh? <laughs> it's got to be poking your spear in places, huh? Huh? How's that saltwater taste? <laughs> yeah, you would say that. Oh, <laughs> uh, Chewy, that's my wife. <laughs> the one grappling singer underwater is going to bite into your shoulder. I try not to get bit. For five damage. Cool. Um, lightning rips out of my shoulder. <laughs> okay. And blasts him in the mouth. What's he have to do? DC 14 dex save. Mouth okay. blast. What happens? He takes nine points of damage. Nine. And then it's going to claw into your side. Good thing we avoided that ambush. <laughs> For six points of damage. <laughs> How much was that first damage? Wasn't that three? Heck. I can't remember now. Okay. That's what I thought, but I just okay. wanted to make sure. The first, the bite was five. Was it five? I was pretty yeah. sure. Well, we'll just say three because I can't remember. <laughs> Fair enough. Cool. Jewel's turn. Didn't somebody roll higher than I did? Nope. Nope. It's mm. you, okay. Stenel Dimble Singer. Where did the dude that was next to me go? Back underneath. Well, balls. Okay. I guess. Can I stab at this guy in the water if I move over to where Singer is? Or do I have to get in the water to stab him? If you kneel down, you could stab him. He's struggling with Singer and trying to hold Singer under him. Okay. I guess I'll do that. I'll like run up here and drop to my knees and try to stab at this guy. Got it. Fuck. That's an eight. I don't think I've hit with my rapier all night. Or I did and I did one damage. <laughs> the refraction of the water makes you miss your mark. Balls. Are you going to stay there or are you going to move? I think, I think uh, Singer still has an inspiration to try and break free, right? Yeah, they last 10 minutes. Has it been 10 minutes since we... I think it's been more than 10 minutes since we found clark yeah, i'll give it to you that's fine okay uh yeah i'll move back here i guess out of the way a steno you're up well i will i'll be like dimble watch our backs and then i'll charge over to where the bubbles are <laughs> the bubble nice <laughs> i will also kneel and try to attack but i shall do so recklessly it's a straight roll the way i've been because you're using a slashing uh -huh. weapon Oh, get disadvantage with slashing? Through water. Fair enough. Okay, then I will recklessly attack. Oh, come on, dice. Oh, they came on. 23. You hit. Sure do. Oh, that's lovely. 13 damage. Nice. And then my second, so, so I draw blood. Yes, there's blood in the water. Lovely. And I'm going to pull it back and I'm going to stab it against 18 hits. It does. Hey. All right. <laughs> oh, shit, for 12. I said it. Wow. Doing good. All right, all right, all right. Thanks, Matt. Oh, yeah, yeah. As I'm, like, stabbing into the frothing water, I'm like, Singer! Brother! Or waifu? Brother lover. <laughs> Not Targaryens. Then I'll make an athletics or a acrobatics check. Uh, to be fair, I'm pretty sure you did say that you always pay your debts in the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> so you might be a Lannister. <laughs> Uh, no, I always collect my debts. That makes me the opposite of a Lannister. Oh, they don't collect their debts. Uh, although I was really just exaggerating in the moment. Because <laughs> you have no concept of money. Yeah. <laughs> or what value is. I rolled a 20 uh, plus a six for athletics is a 26. It gets its sticky hand on your ankle and you just stomp on its wrist and it relinquishes and then slinks back into the water. That's what I thought. I'm out of here. Dimble. All right. Well. I was told to watch their back, so I'm going to get a little bit closer and hold an action to firebolt something if I can see it. Got it. You're going to take that here very shortly. This thing slinks up to try and come after you, and it has Aww. a man catcher in hand. A man catcher. I don't like it. Yeah, that's a natural one. 
<laughs> oh no. It startles you and you blast over its head. <laughs> What's your armor class symbol? Mm, 14. Oh, it misses. Oh, thank God. It jams the man catcher where your head would have been and you duck underneath and slide to the side. Huh. Oh, man. Hey, th- there's one over here. Singer. <laughs> You're struggling for breath. Uh, yeah, just uh, for a nine. To hit? Yep. That is a no. Yep. Tries wrapping its sticky hands around your throat. Gross. Hop of the round. It's its turn. Bite. It misses, but it's going to drag you underwater in a way. Cool. Stenel and Jewel, you can see across the way here by where the whip is. There's about two feet, but the wall is broken in this whole side of the area. And it goes to a different hallway. And then right here, the wall is broken out just over the water. So on the south side, there's about a 15-foot section of wall where you could swim underneath. Oh, boy. Jewel, you're up. Okay. I hear Dimble yell, there's one back here behind us, the one that I left. And I will turn around and run up to it and try to stab it. And Go that is a 18 and 18 to hit. You hit. And that does six piercing damage. All right. Good hit. Good hit. Yeah, you stab into its side. You finally got a good hit. <laughs> Next up, Stenel. Well, uh, is this still land? It's a wall. The land ends right here. I guess it doesn't really matter because now I see where everybody... So I'm going to dive straight into the water here. Well up nice and close. Right into the thick of things. Uh, and the one that's holding Singer, I'm going to stab the bananas out of. Are you attacking recklessly? Otherwise uh, you'd be at disadvantage. Uh, yeah. I'm going to attack recklessly. You know what? Uh... How much movement does it take to get through water? Half, I think. Just half the normal movement? It's difficult. I'm fairly sure. Unless you have a swim oh, that's speed. 15. I have a swim well, speed. I feel like Stenel wouldn't. Um, but it's 15 feet straight shot to get here. And I've uh, I've got 35 foot of movement. So Yeah, you can get there. With my nimbleness, I can maybe finagle myself to there. Mm. So would that give me mm, an advantage? Yeah. Okay, because he's like grappling singer. Uh, so I'm going to get to that point get to its back and then i'm going to recklessly attack it oh no wait it just cancels out anyways okay so yeah i'll just regular attack it go for it first swing 15 you hit oh shit nine damage hit it again for 18 you hit 18 to hit and then eight plus three is uh 11 damage on the second really taking chunks out of this guy our heroes saved clark a lumitech researcher and then found themselves in trouble being dragged into murky depth. How will our adventurers save themselves from this situation? We'll find out next time on Total Party Guild. But before we go, we have some nice messages for you. Nice messages. Are we still saying buy stamps? Buy stamps, buy lots of stamps. <laughs> if I like uh, how at the beginning of these ones, you're always like, "Are we still doing this thing? <laughs> is this the thing we're doing? We're we doing something different." It's the I end feel like of uh, September. I might get your eyes checked from an eye doctor. Yeah, sure, okay. What? Um, that's that's my that's my message. Uh, a s- Once a year, it's good for you. Social plug. I'm gonna say, check us out Twitter. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, Twitch, YouTube. We stream and put videos up on YouTube of games that we've played. Jeremy and I have played a lot of Deep Rock Galactic and Terraria. Uh, Check us out. Total Party Guild across all the platforms. Rate, review, and subscribe on those platforms. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, pass us around. If your grandma's getting bored of TikTok, uh, show her Total Party Guild. (laughs) (laughs) And if you have questions, comments, uh, want to hear from the cast and crew, uh, send us an email at totalpartyguild at gmail.com. We read every one of those and reply to every single one. Every single one. I'm talking to you, Todd. (laughs) (laughs) Even if you have kind messages for our lovely guests like Matthew, please write us and let us know. Matthew, you got anything you want to say before we go? Yeah, get your flu shot. Oh, yeah, I got mine yesterday. Be a flu fighter. Well, yesterday, like four weeks ago, you don't want to get sick and then have to keep going and seeing the doctor or anything over a flu or get 
admitted to the hospital with the flu and then catch COVID. And I guess if you're already going to the hospital over the flu, you're probably pretty sick. And at this point, getting the flu, everyone's just going to assume you have COVID. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Worse. Worse. (laughs) Until next time, party Party on. on. Party on. Party on.